A potential strike from beneath the seas. This British submarine, HMS Tireless, could spearhead any UK military contribution to punitive action against Syria. So what would be the aim of any such strike? No final decision has yet been made, but the US has made clear that its military assets are already in place. Cruise missiles could be launched from US warships and submarines from the 5th Fleet in the Gulf or the 6th Fleet in the Mediterranean. And like HMS Tireless, they can fire Tomahawk cruise missiles from over a thousand miles away from their target. And the most likely targets are the Syrian regime's military command and control, especially any command believed to be involved in the use of chemical weapons. But there are voices urging caution over where even seemingly limited military action could ultimately lead. Any involvement in, uh, in striking Syria, in effect, becomes an involvement in the civil war. We are, we are siding then with the opposition. And no matter how much politicians say we are not, militarily, that's what we will be doing. So what are the other risks? Well, the West will have to be careful to avoid any civilian casualties. And there is a real risk of retaliation, whether by the Syrian regime or even one of its supporters. They include Russia and China, while Iran could also react. Retaliation could hit allies in the region or even places such as Cyprus. And another risk, that a military strike could help the opposition, who include elements linked to al-Qaeda, the very people the West doesn't want to have any access to chemical weapons. Whatever good might be done by sending a message to President Assad that he shouldn't use chemical weapons, unless such a strike is within an overall strategy, which has a beginning, a middle and an end, then we are effectively kicking the ball down the pitch and waiting to see which way it bounces. That's not a good strategy and that's not a good way to think about finishing something when you start it. So what is the objective? The aim is not regime change, according to Downing Street and the White House, but what they term limited action to show Syria and others that the use of chemical weapons will be punished. With just under two million Syrian refugees already, one worry is that any military intervention could create more. And targets will have to be chosen carefully in any military action, which could, according to some sources, happen within days. Caroline Wyatt, BBC News.